Kellen, good to see you, Kellen Rodnecki. Pleasure to be here, Mark. I mean, honestly, really a perfect time to be back on. We're celebrating the 100 years of our amazing sport together. Water ski is what he's referring to. Well, I'm deaf in my right oh. ear. I can't hear <laughs> up my left, so I wasn't quite sure what he said. <laughs> celebrating the 100 year of water ski. That's a great so thing. That's a great time to be together. You right. know, and there's so many events that are coming up or that have already taken place, mm -hmm. some that are coming up. We've got a big event um, that, that is uh, going to be held at the Elite Cable Park. Before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about, to me, which is, is probably the best business, I'm going to get a little deeper than I should, but a little bit, um, uh, it's probably the best water sports business model in the industry right now with Correct Craft. You've got the boats, but you have the cable parks that allow people to get into the sport, introduced to the sport at a fraction of the cost of just buying a brand new ski boat for hundred grand. I definitely agree with you. You know, as someone who grew up without a boat and had to find my way to a cable park, I was able to fall in love with water sports. And you know, now once the paycheck kind of gets to that level, I'm sure I'll find myself buying a, a brand new Correct Craft boat sometime soon. But it really is allowing the masses to experience something that realistically, just because of the factors required in doing it, is a bit limiting. So mm -hmm. being able to be out on the water, any age, get up there, experience it, it's really something truly magical. And it's definitely something where Correct Craft made a very strategic move in saying, hey, let's look at expanding these. Let's go ahead. And, you know, Auburndale was number one on the target just because of the deep history of water skiing and water sports here. Absolutely. And a you know, great point that you bring up, it really is for the masses. I mean, it kind of uh, takes out the mitigating or barrier to entry that some people may face. So in that kind of pursuit, how, you know, what programs or things do you offer that maybe people don't know about that they could take advantage of and, and would be excited you know, to come to Arbondale? Uh, come to Arbondale and, and, and experience ECP for themselves. Well, great question. I mean, honestly, really one of the bane of my existence, I always say that your first time wakeboarding is your worst time wakeboarding. Mm. So it is one of those where once you get up on the water, you're really kind of standing still. With that being said, we have our signature program, the Get Up Guarantee. And essentially what the Get Up Guarantee is, is we will work with you one-on-one. -on -one. We have a special cable system to allow us to train you to get up on the water, which is the hardest part. And if you don't get up, you get to come back for free. So it really is one of those things where we like to say, all you need is your bathing suit, your ID, and you'll be good to go because we'll take care of the rest for you. That's awesome. Well, Great it's... Initiative. It, Kellen, explain a little bit when, when we're talking about cable parks. There's a lot of people... <laughs> that don't have any idea we you know we're not located up in Wisconsin uh, or Colorado with you know all the ski areas we have palm lifts and t-bars and those types of things that tow people up the mountain but it's very similar to that describe what cable water skiing is about or wakeboarding whatever so this is the second hardest part of my job, which essentially it's a newer sport in the sense of typically you have towed water sports, which is behind a powered boat or vessel. Now cable systems, they've actually been around since the 40s, but that was mainly in Germany. The first- Ski uh, Rickson. Ski Rickson, there it is. <laughs> that was actually the park that I grew up riding at. So Ski Rickson was the first park in 19, um, 83 and then OWC, which is another of the parks that Correct Craft now has, was in 1999. So really, you're looking at a very short history. There's a lot more popping up, which is always great to see. But basically what it takes is the idea is instead of having a towed vessel, you have a fixed structure, which is four cable or five to six cable towers typically, and they run in a basically a circle. There's a motor tower on one of them, so it pulls you. So essentially it's a ski lift that goes in a circle and you're being pulled by it. So little hard to explain. Once you see it, it kind of makes a lot more sense. But the whole point of it is it's a lot easier and more consistent way to get you out on the water. The, the park itself, I was out there checking on the, the new competition ski lake that's going in right next to you guys, which I think will also be a good feeder for the business. Um, but the National Wakeboard and the National, the WWA National Wakeboard and wake surf competition were going to be held at the new ski lake didn't feel it was uh, going to be ready you know in time maybe a couple of days or so couldn't take the chance had to take it over to uh, lake silver and that'll be the first week in august but the national cable park championships wwa cable park championships 
are going to be at your facility. How exciting is that? Oh, it's very exciting. I mean, this is our second year. <clears throat> this is our second year of hosting these mm -hmm. events, and typically the WWA likes to repeat the event just to kind of have it at the same location. So that's a tradition of ours that they've been doing. And when we, you know, landed it last year, we were very excited because for us as a newer park, it is a huge milestone. I mean, you're getting hundreds of families all across the nation, all across the world are coming to compete at this event. And just right here, you know, a little bit of a hometown advantage, but Lee Cable Park came in second place last year, you know, only behind Orlando Water Sports Complex, which, you know, their whole team, they've Even been beating having, Miami. Uh, yeah, they beat Miami. So of wow. our teams, they got they got second. So we have three different uh, parks and, you know, Orlando Water Sports Complex really is kind of the giant, you know, mm. they're the one there. But out of nowhere comes Elite Cable Park and really the, the team is fired up. They're ready to go. They're gearing up for it. But we're so excited. It's going to be August 4th through the 7th. And we can't wait. You know, spectators come on out. You're literally going to see some of the best athletes and the best up and coming athletes duke it out on the cable system. How, you know, you mentioned that you're like, all right, a little bit of home field advantage, obviously knowing is that I'm, I'm a novice when it comes to this conversation, but is that like, you know, accurate? Like when you go market to market, do you see those differences in how, you know, they're structured and designed and does that change when you travel somewhere and it's maybe a different setup or a different layout? How much of an impact does that have in terms of competition? Oh, that's a great question. And really it's massive. So yeah. what ends up happening is similar to almost kind of, um, you know, when you're doing traditional towed water sports, that wake is typically the same. Now I can say that and I'll get pros saying, well, there's wind conditions and all these things, which is very correct, you know, mm -hmm. in the sense that it's slightly different. Cable parks are completely different. You might have a faster speed, you might have a higher cable. The features are gonna be different. The way the features are set are all different. So you can have the same type of obstacle at the same, at a different park, and it's gonna feel different just how it's laid out there. So the home field advantage is literally these kids have thousands of hits on these features. They can essentially do it with, with their eyes closed. So we get a big rush of you know, our competitors coming out here, learning the system, learning the little uniqueness of it, because while it might be something where, you know, sure, any pro is gonna be able to do that same hit, when you have that thousands of hits, it's to the point of just pure muscle memory. Yeah. So you do get a big, big advantage. And that's why I think ECP, you know, they're really looking to, to t swing for the fences this year. And I, I, I think it's going to be some competition. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's almost like not the best uh, analogy, but like practice rounds in golf, like when you get out there and it's not your home course mm -hmm. and you're like, man, this is... This is going to be tough these first couple days and to have that you know wherewithal and i'm sure as you you mentioned you probably see people come in a little early just to get some of those practice runs and have some familiarity with the layout so that's awesome let's take a look in our rearview mirror real quick because the the elite athletes okay have been training for years the guys are really girls are really good but the program that you have set up there and i want to talk about your summer program mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and your training program any family and any adult from cradle to grave really can go out and they can learn to ski with the guaranteed get up is that what it's called guaranteed? get up guarantee get get up guarantee close enough yeah yeah so anyway with with that but the the programs that you have are also geared towards the community so you're giving back to the community you're training the community and you're giving these kids in the summer something to do but adults, a challenge if they want to get out there on, you know, get out on the water too. Oh, 100%. I think my favorite thing that I hear all the time from our members is, you know, this is like a second home to us. And I can express the same feelings when I came up here to go to college at UCF when I went to OWC. It was basically a second home for me. I met so many people, all these memories. And Correct Craft's mission at the end of the day is making life better. And with these parks, what my favorite part is, is you look at our team, the national contenders now, realistically, you know, going up against OWC, they were all new. You know, so before Elite Cable Park has opened, they never were really experienced. Maybe they had some water ski experience, but these are all brand new people coming into our sport, being part of it, forming these communities, forming these bonds and these teams. And it's just so special because, I mean, again, you have little kids, six, seven, eight-year-olds, but you also have adults as well, too. So it really is a wide range, and everyone just feels at home, which is something we love. Well, you certainly, you know, people Google stuff. How do they get a hold of you, or how do they get a 
more information about the park, what's the website? So it's EliteKalePark.com. We're open every single day except for two out of the year. So you're pretty much good to find us. I take a look at everything we have online, but we really do have something for everyone. Oh, some fantastic stuff. Kellen, thanks a, a million for joining us. Man, that went fast. That did. That's you know, I can go keep going and going and going. But uh, anyway, we appreciate you being here. Say hi to Theo and the rest of the crew. We look forward to seeing you in a few weeks at the uh, National Cable Park Championships at the Elite Cable Park in Auburndale, Florida.